Don't explode up. Control though. Good. Make sure core nice and tight. I feel the drive from my heels. Good. There you go. Good. So for those who do a lot of sedentary work, do me a favor. Strengthen the hamstrings because when you're sitting down, remember the glutes are getting weaker, the hamstrings are getting weaker. So at the end of the day, two things we need to do. Not always just focus on stretching, we need to strengthen it and also focus on stretching as well. Remember, dynamic stretches before you work out, make sure at the end of the workout what we're gonna do, static stretching. Let's get it. I've never done this machine before. I've done an imitation of this machine, which is this is imitating a hip thrust itself. But I always tell y'all, to play it safe, take all of the weight off, get familiar with the exercise. Remember, for our filler sets, we only gonna do six, oh, I put seven. We're only gonna do six reps. Remember, don't overextend. Focus on squeezing at the top of the glute. There we go, all the way down. Keep that chin tucked too. Chin nice and tucked. Easy, easy, easy. Just six, just six, we load weight next. And right there, it's locked. You good. So then, once you get comfortable with the movement, then start adding weight on it. It's the break. Generally, when I do hip thrusts, mainly with a machine, I can do easy like three, four plates on each side. So I wouldn't be surprised if I could do a little bit more. But like I said, me not doing this before, this is going to be a new experience. Only thing about this is I hate, uh, I hate machines like this because they so trapped to the wall. Um, so you pull this back, I'm guessing. Interesting. Before you get to the hip thrust, do not try to max out weight with your hip thrust if you tax your hamstrings. When your hamstrings are taxed, remember, hamstrings are getting activated throughout the hip thrust. Even though we're primarily trying to break down the glute itself, it's no way around it. You're going to have to activate the hamstrings. So make sure when we're hitting hip thrusts, we are not overloading our hamstrings. Easy, easy. Remember, abs nice and tight. Fall right into the glutes. Keep that chin nice and tucked. Easy. Good. Remember, load straight through the glutes. Squeeze at the top. Nice. Don't be explosive. I want you more control. When you overload those hamstrings, Ruben said it himself, he's cramping on the hamstrings because the hamstrings are a little bit more taxed, which means at the end of the day, that weight is a little too heavy. We should scale it down a little bit and get the hamstrings a little bit stronger. It's nothing wrong with that. As you can see, we back at it. Slow it down a little bit more though. Slow and steady wins the race on this one today. We not These things are gonna show what we should be addressing when it comes down to our training. It's either gonna be the strength that we need to work on or we need to make sure that we loosen up those hamstrings. Good, make sure core nice and tight. I feel the drive from my heels. Good, there you go, good. I love this machine, bro. I like right, go ahead, easy. Go ahead, we going up, easy, come on. Control though, don't explode up, control though. There we go, big difference. Remember, when we get to that heavy weight, still control, y'all. Interesting. Oh, okay, okay, it makes sense. First of all, what in the, this is why I say you gotta test it first, yo. Okay, all right. I understand it more now. So one, with this particular machine, you ain't supposed to be all the way back there. The slant in the machine is there for a reason. That's one. Two, it's a pad that I'm actually sitting on that you can sit on, I don't know if you can see the pads. So, so make sure you slide a little bit forward to be able to grip the bar like this, right? Now you come up, out, and now we good. 
Now we good. So remember, filler is six. One thing so you can be mindful of is we're not clamping this part, it's a little bar right here. So if you're trying to move the bar closer to this, this is where you load the weight. This is where you keep the bar on. This is why I like coming to different gyms to try different things. Remember, have fun with different pieces of equipment because when you're out of a gym, you don't have access to, a, to it anymore. You're gonna have to do what you do. And the only reason why I've never been a big fan of hip thrust, mainly with a barbell, is because the loading the weight, I'd be so over it. Like when you wanna go heavy, I would rather do a Smith machine. And then on top of that, if they don't have this pad there, I'd just be like, fuck it. Some of y'all like rolling the mat together, but I'm not the guy that likes having a mat all the way in the way. If they don't have this there, I just be like, forget it. But you gotta try this out, we're gonna do six.